Hi there, I'm Summer Aston with Silver Creek Realty Group here in Boise, Idaho, and many people are curious to know about the school options when they move here. Well, the great thing about living in Idaho is that we have a lot of choices, and I personally have used many of these choices with my children, and they all have been great. Due to fair housing laws, I will not be telling you which schools are better than the other. That's not what this video is about anyways. It's about the different choices that you have in Idaho for schooling. And anything that you want to know more specifically, make sure that you do your due diligence and that you call the specific school districts or the specific schools to answer the questions about your unique needs for your children. So let's get started. Okay, so here are our schooling options. We have full-time public school, and also we have public charter schools. There are good private schools, and public online charter schools, which can be done full-time or part-time, or at home or remotely, or sometimes at school and also full-time homeschool, where you can choose your own curriculum, you can choose online curriculum, and dual enrollment, which is a combination of online school and public school, or homeschool and public school, or homeschool and public online school. So you have many choices. Today we're gonna to be focusing on the public schools in the Boise area. Okay, here's the names of the school districts in our area. We have the Boise School District, which covers pretty much all of Boise and a little bit into the surrounding areas. We have the West Ada School District, which is almost all of Meridian, Eagle, and Star, and a little bit into the surrounding areas. There's some overlap there. There's the Nampa School District, which covers most of Nampa and a little surrounding area and then the Caldwell School District, which covers most of Caldwell and the surrounding area. All of the school districts, since they're run by the state, have the same options that I talked about in the beginning. I am going to be focusing on the Boise School District and West Ada School Districts because those are the ones that I am most familiar with. Let's start with our little ones, the preschools. You need to know that Idaho does not have public preschool. There have been some schools that have piloted public preschool programs, but in general, it's not established. If it's important to you, make sure you call the school district and see if there are any pilot programs going on for public preschool. But you should plan on having your preschooler go to a private preschool, and there are many private preschools. You will need to sign them up about a year, sometimes two years in advance. And there are also many preschool co-op groups within neighborhoods or friends groups that are really fun too. Next, we have our sweet kindergartners. The main thing you need to know about kindergarten in Idaho is that most of the programs are half day programs. There are many schools that do offer full day programs and they are tuition based meaning that you need to pay for that full day kindergarten program. Next is the elementary schools. So kindergarten is part of the elementary schools. They go from K through five or K through six, and they have awesome programs. They have music, they have PE, science, art, technology, natural sciences. They have a wide variety of things that they're teaching the children at the schools. And starting in about fifth or sixth grade, depending on the school, they have free orchestra, band, choir, and that's when they start the afternoon sports like um, basketball and track at most of the schools. In the elementary schools, you are also going to find the GATE programs, Gifted and Talented. They can either do pull-out programs where they just go for a day or two a week or a certain amount of time, or they can be bused to full-time GATE school. And the elementary schools are also great with working with kids who need an IEP, an Individualized Education Plan, and they have aids for kids who need that as well. Many of the elementary schools also have afternoon programs like drama club or chess club, and in general, parents are very happy to volunteer and help out with the elementary schools around here. So one thing that is you do need to take note of with the elementary schools is that depending on the district, 
they have different start times and that's for busing reasons. So one school might start at 8.45 and get out earlier. Another school might start at 9.15. So if that's important for your job or your lifestyle, that might be something you want to call the district about and make sure that your child is going to a school that has the start time that works for you. One thing that's unique about the Boise School District is that they have extra funding for music programs. They're the oldest school district and they have music funding grandfathered in. And so they provide after school honors programs for band, orchestra, and various choirs. Some of them require an audition. Some of the choirs do not require an audition and it's for anyone to participate in. You don't have to be from the Boise School District, although if you're not from the Boise School District, you do need to pay a small fee to participate. They are district-wide and many children from all over the valley come. Even homeschoolers can participate. It's just a really neat thing. Junior high, the fun years. Depending on the district, it's either going to be junior high or middle school and it can either be 6th to 8th grade, 7th and 8th grade, or 7th to 9th grade. And the, they run the schedules differently as well. Some districts you're going to have a nine period a day schedule, and other districts you're going to have a schedule where they have four periods a day and they alternate those classes every other day. In our area, the junior highs have very dedicated staff and counselors, and there are a great deal of programs for the kids, from music programs to competitive after-school sports programs to science and technology. There's something for everyone. And if you're interested in the sports programs, make sure that you call the school and find out which schools offer which sports. They're not necessarily all the same. And I know the Boise School District does not charge for after-school sports, but some of the school districts do have a fee for after-school sports. And just a couple of things to be mindful of about the junior highs in Boise. So what classes they take in junior high will determine which classes they're going to be able to take in high school. So for example, if you want your child to be in AP Biology in high school, they will need to be on the accelerated science track in junior high. So there's a lot of details like that. Make sure you talk with the counselors. They will help you make sure that you get your kids on the right path. And the other thing is, is that in Idaho, foreign languages are considered an elective because they're not required to graduate. So if your student is interested in going to a college that requires a foreign language, make sure that you get that language into your kid's schedule and that can start as early as eighth grade. Before we get into high schools, I want to mention a very unique opportunity we have here in the Boise area, and that is Treasure Valley Math and Science School, otherwise known as TVMSC. This is a very high level math and technology and science school. It typically is for children in sixth grade all the way through high school. They do need to take an exam in order to get in. And so your child can be younger if they are very driven to do hard mental work. It is not necessarily a full-time program. It can be a full-time program or it is integrated with their other school or homeschooling that they're doing and many of the kids stay in the program all the way through high school and graduate early and if they do so they have very strong prospects at college and the later years high school so please do your due diligence when it comes to choosing the right high school for your child. Each high school is known for different things. Maybe one high school has a stronger football program and another high school has more AP classes and another high school might have a stronger orchestra. So, and that can also change depending on funding or who's teaching that year. Make sure that you do your due diligence, call the specific school and find out what is going on for that school. Each of the high schools has huge opportunities for the children from languages to language arts to sports to music, um, competitions at a state level in sports and in music and the arts and drama, musical theater, and they all have vocational and trade and job training programs. Each district has opportunities for those vocational trades 
And in the Boise School District, they have mechanics programs, they have nursing, welding, home building, culinary arts, environmental sciences, and many more things like that. They aren't necessarily located at the high schools, they are off site at the different centers for the vocational schools. And so, for example, my son is taking the mechanics class, so he is bused from his high school to the mechanics class, and then he comes bused back to his high school. Also, many students can actually get certificates through these programs so that they are prepared to have full-time jobs upon graduation. My friend's daughter did the CNA program, and she was able to work as a CNA after she graduated and put herself through college. It's just a great opportunity. My favorite thing about the Idaho high schools is the fast forward program. So I don't know why everybody does not know about this. I still have friends who don't know about it. You do need to talk to the counselors to get detailed information and it does change on a regular basis. But basically the fast forward program is free college. So how this works is starting their junior year, there are many options for concurrent enrollment where they can take college courses and get credit for college and high school at the same time. My daughter took English 101 at the high school and got college credit for it. So they don't necessarily need to even go off campus to do it. They can just take the class at their high school and the fast forward program will pay for it. If you play your cards right, your student could actually get their high school diploma and an AA degree at the same time all for free without hardly ever having to leave their high school campus. Now some of the classes will have to be taken online and possibly some of them would be on the college campus, but it is a possibility. Also, the fast forward program will pay for those AP classes. It's just an amazing opportunity that we have here in Idaho. So talk to the counselor because they will guide you through that step by step. And last but not least is the sporting programs in the high school. They all compete at a high level. Many of them make it to the state competing levels. And if your child is big into football, make sure that you note not every single high school has a football field. There's some other unique sporting opportunities like ski and snowboard teams and downhill mountain biking teams, which are very large and great to practice here in the Boise foothills. So the public is a great supporter of our local sports and it just really adds to the great community spirit here. I hope that gave you a good overview of what the Boise area public schools have to offer. Make sure you check out my next video where I will be going over charter schools, both virtual and physical charter schools. And make sure you like and subscribe if you want to see more videos about Boise and Boise real estate. Thank you for allowing me to share with you today. And remember, if you have any specific questions, make sure you call.